And it's nothing short of a dangerous living in the national capital. And quite honestly, citizens have been left to brazen it out by themselves. Delhi remains shrouded under a layer of smog today morning with the air quality oscillating between poor and very poor category. Anand Vihar had the worst AQI with a reading of over 400 falling in the severe category. Today, Delhi Chief Minister Atish Shailong along with the Delhi Environment Minister Gopal Rai visited Anand Vihar to take stock of the pollution situation over there. In fact, she said that anti-pollution measures are being strictly deployed in Delhi. And uh, my colleague Kritika is now joining us uh, with more details on this. Kritika, how is the situation on ground today and uh, what are the difficulties that the residents are facing due to the deteriorating air quality situation? Right, we're reporting from Anand Vihar and currently this is the most polluted uh, neighborhood in the national capital. The air quality has, uh, is, has been recorded right now at 450. This is, remember, in the severe category. And when the air quality reaches this level, experts say it not only affects people who have predisposed respiratory issues, but also severely impacts the health of even healthy people. Now, I'd like to show you some visuals over here. Today, when uh, the chief minister visited the area to take stock of the pollution, she did say how, because of the immense movement of vehicles and especially of buses in this area is why pollution in this specific area spikes up. And she also made it a point to point out that diesel buses uh, that fly from Uttar Pradesh, remember this is near the Delhi-Uttar Pradesh border, so the diesel buses that fly from there <laughs> sorry, are also to blame. Now, behind, uh, just right beside what we are also seeing is, if you look at the skyline, then all the high-rises here that are in vision, you would see that they are hazy. That is the level of pollution already. Remember, Diwali is still uh, a few weeks away. Winters are also, of course, the onset is also a few weeks away. Despite that, right now, the air in this part of Delhi is twice as bad as the national capital's average. Now, uh, both uh, the Environment Minister Gopal Rai and Delhi Chief Minister Atishi, while addressing uh, the media here as well as the officials, talked about how continuous measures will be taken in Anand Vihar to make sure that further pollution does not, um, that it doesn't get elevated any further. We have seen for the last one hour that we've been here, on and off anti-smog guns are in action. The whole idea is to mitigate the level of dust that is on the roads. Because remember, as and when the cars commute, they storm up a cloud of dust behind them. Even in the middle of the road, you can see there is some uh, particulate matter. And that is what is concerning right now, especially in this area, considering the whole region becomes an airshed. So uh, smog guns have been deployed. And I'd also request our camera person to give you a sense of the construction that's happening in the northern railway lines right on your screen right now. So everywhere you will see construction is underway. This is something that cannot be avoided. But can what can actually be taken control of as per the CM as well as the environment minister is the dust control measures that will be taken care in sites like these. Also, the CM has said that any roads in this area, irrespective of whether it falls under the MCD or the PWD, will be maintained because, again, as and when the roads damage, it uh, only adds to the level of dust in the area, the local uh, vehicular emissions that happen. And now another uh, water sprinkler... Uh, we can see on the roads here by the ISBT. Uh, remember how I was saying in the past one hour on and off, uh the movement of the anti-smog guns in this area is quite frequent considering this is one of the most hit right now in the national capital. And uh, I can give you a sense of the traffic congestion also. There are a number of autos, uh, private vehicles, um, uh, Ola, Uber, as well as buses that fly here. A lot of movement of people. And all of these right now that you're seeing on the world screens, no one is wearing a mask. So we still haven't entered that zone wherein people start taking stock of this and actually start taking precautions uh, in order to protect uh, their health and their respiratory health specifically. But as of now, we don't see that in the people. Definitely everyone here is in a hurry. They're all uh, trying to get from one place to the other. Uh, but the severe level of air pollution in the area is definitely concerning. Over to you.
Right. So that was my colleague Kritika telling us about all the anti-pollution measures that are being uh, deployed in Anand Vihar, which is one of the hotspots where uh, Delhi Chief Minister Atishi, in fact, uh, visited also today morning to take stock of the situation. Let's listen into what she said after visiting this area. Delhi me bahut sakti se anti-pollution measures ko deploy kiya ja raha hai. Chahe dust control ki drives. हमने 99 टीम्स बनाई हैं जो पूरी दिल्ली में अलग-अलग जगह पे कंस्ट्रक्शन साइट्स पे जो सारे डस्ट कंट्रोल मेजर्स हैं उनको चेक कर रही हैं दिल्ली में सवा 300 से ज्यादा एंटी स्मॉक गन्स को डिप्लॉय करने का प्रोसेस शुरू हो गया है दिल्ली में आज के दिन में चाहे पीडब्ल्यूडी हो चाहे एमसीडी हो अपने सारे रिसोर्सेज लगाकर दिल्ली में प्रदूषण रोकने का काम चल रहा है लेकिन आनंद विहार एक ऐसा इलाका है जहां पर क्योंकि ये दिल्ली और यूपी के बॉर्डर पर है यहां पर दिल्ली के बाहर से भी बहुत सारी बसें आती हैं पास में कौशाम्बी का बस अड्डा भी है आनंद विहार एक ऐसा हॉटस्पॉट है जहां पर दिल्ली में हाईएस्ट एक्यूआई लेवल होता है इसीलिए आज यहां पे दिल्ली के पर्यावरण मंत्री गोपाल राय जी और मैं यहां पे व्यक्तिगत तौर पे खुद आए हैं आनंद विहार में जो सारे पोल्यूशन कंट्रोल मेजर्स हैं उनका जायजा लेने के लिए and not just toxic air, but the Yamuna River in Delhi has also been covered with a thick layer of white froth since Friday, posing health hazards for the people living over there. And in fact, as, uh, uh, as Delhi chokes with rising air pollution and toxic foam visible on the Yamuna River, a political blame game has also erupted between the Aam Aadmi Party and the BJP. The BJP attacked the Amadmi Party, saying that it is the toxic politics of Arvind K. Jival that has made the water and air in the national capital poisonous. The party further said that uh, had Delhi government taken steps in advance, the situation could have been better. I think that the Bharatiya Janta Party is doing a lot of work on the streets. The Bharatiya Janta Party is doing a lot of drama. In the Haryana, the Bharatiya Janta Party is doing a lot of work. और हरियाणा के अंदर जिस तरीके से पराली जल, जलाई जा रही है उसकी घटनाएं बढ़ रही हैं जिस तरीके से हरियाणा के अंदर कोई कंट्रोल नहीं किसी चीज पर मुझे लगता है कि भारतीय जनता पार्टी दिल्ली की सांसों के साथ साजिश कर रही है पिछले दस वर्षों से केजरीवाल साहब और उनकी पार्टी दिल्ली में सत्ता का सुख भोग रहे हैं दिल्ली की जनता त्राही त्राही कर रही है किसी को चिंता नहीं है ये नहीं हो कि भाई कि 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 पहले से तैयारी की जाए कि क्या स्थिति आ सकती है लोगों को परेशानी ना हो दिल्ली में अब सांस लेना महंगा हो गया है और सांस लेने की कीमत लोगों को चुकानी पड़ी है हॉस्पिटल जाकर छोटे बच्चे परेशान हो रहे हैं बट कंसर्न कहाँ है इस चीज़ के लिए कंसर्न तो है कि जी हमारी कुर्सी रहे बस अगर आपने पहले से कुछ मेजर्स उठाए होते तो ये स्थिति ना आती ना And responding to BJP's attack, Aam Aadmi Party said that it is the BJP which failed to take any, any concrete action being in power in the adjoining states of Uttar Pradesh, Haryana and Rajasthan, where an increase in stubble burning has been witnessed. In fact, Aam Aadmi Party also called it a conspiracy by BJP. Aam Aadmi Party MP Sandeep Pata claimed that an NGT report has claimed that stubble burning in Punjab is not directly responsible for pollution in Delhi and that these are fake narratives by the BJP. आप देखेंगे थोड़े दिन पहले एक रिपोर्ट आई है उस रिपोर्ट में बड़े साइंटिफिक तरीके से ये बताया गया है कि कैसे पंजाब में जो पराली पहले जलती थी वो काफी रिड्यूस हुआ है पहली बात दूसरी बात आपने एक चीज एक बार और कहा पंजाब के बारे में तो ये भी बता दूं कि एक एनजीटी की एक रिपोर्ट आई है जिसमें कोई एक ऐसा डायरेक्ट पैरामीटर रीजन नहीं है कि वो पंजाब से पराली जल रही है तो दिल्ली के पॉलिस तो ये सारी मनगणंत चीजें भारतीय जनता पार्टी करीपल इन द नेशनल कैपिटल to face a twofold trouble when it comes to the pollution because while the air quality is started to decline day by day the level of water pollution is also increasing and it is evident from the scenes behind me as you can see while this entire area is now covered under the thick smog the buildings are very hazy the entire area is covered under this envelope the water bodies the yamuna is also now getting covered up under this layer of thick froth this situation is coming after days of negotiations number of meetings have been held by different administrative organizations talking about how to counter such issues the 
level of pollution is Yam in Yamuna is continuously increasing and the quality of air in the national capital is completely declining. Everything around us, it's 8 in the morning, things are normally clearer at this time of the day, but everything around me is hazy. It's almost blurred.